Hey guys, Takamasak here, and welcome to Let's Play Terraria! For those of you who are not familiar with Terraria, Terraria is... It was a game introduced to me by a buddy I used to work with, and what it is is essentially 2D Minecraft-ish. Uh, there's a few things added, and there's a few things that Minecraft, or this has, that doesn't Minecraft doesn't have. I know what I'm trying to say, just stick with me here. Um, you can see, uh, made by ReLogic, and, well, let's just jump right into it. I don't really need to mess with anything else. We'll make a new character, and we'll randomize it until we get something... Oh, that looks like a pirate. It's a, fe it's a female bearded pirate. I, I don't think I need that. Uh, okay, now that's the opposite. That looks like a female. A female with a green afro, why not? Uh... Oh dear. What the hell is that? I like to kind of hit random until I get something really funky. I mean, this is... Does anybody else have this issue where just the character creation seems to take... is arguably the longest part of... Oh, I kind of like that last one. Uh, okay, I'll do three more. One? Sure, we'll go with this guy. Why not? He looks like a... It just puts him in the room. Okay. Takes him out of his dress and puts him in some weird robe type thing. Now, they're kind of, just like Minecraft, there are there are modes to it, like difficulty level. So, softcore, uh, if you die, you don't really lose anything. I think you lose a little bit of money. And then, you, oh, it says right here, medium core, uh, you'll drop your items on death. So, I was honestly planning to do just a softcore run of this, but I think... Just like Minecraft, uh, once you're dead, you're dead for good. So, my not having played this game in roughly eight months to a year, that sounds like the logical choice. So, uh, we'll go with that. So, we have the Hardcore Beard Lock! Uh, we'll just do... Sure. Hardcore Beard Man. Man! Hardcore Beard Man! And, well, I was going to say because he... Can I rename him? No. My favorite name is always on the top. Wait. Oh, Jesus. There's already worlds on this game. But, for the sake of the LP... Um... Hmm. These worlds take about ages to generate, so I'll, I'll just... Far greater difficulty? Do I really want that? I can't remember the difference between expert and regular. Okay, I think I'm going to go normal. I'm not going to go nuts. This is different. I remember when I used to play this game, you didn't really have a choice between Corruption and Crimson. Surprise me. Um, I don't feel like... There, we'll just call it Talk LP for... Arguably the most bland title you could possibly have. Now, this is going to take a while, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to cut this. And alright, after that, uh, it took maybe five minutes or so. Uh, after that, we can finally play our game. Now, I think the tree is kind of a giveaway on which world it will be. So, like, the purple would be the corruption and the red would be the crimson. They're both fairly equal. You can start a new world and get items from uh, the crimson area if you have the corruption and vice versa, so it's not really game -like. What? Oh my god. I don't remember walking this slow. Let's get this on here. Oh god. This thing is massive. Uh... Ah, yes. No. Hello, Bradley, sir! Oh, please do. Now, for the initial part of the game, Bradley here will uh, be your your crafting table, so to speak. Let us hack down tree! For the sake of glory. That entire tree only gave me 15 logs. Fair enough. Oh, dear. Yeah, interacting with stuff is as simple as... Uh, just left-clicking it. You want to left-click at the base of the trees just because 
Well, if you do it higher, I think uh, it used to be it would just take off that section up. So I don't know why you would really want that. And the acorns, you can replant them and regrow more trees. At least it's a re renewable resource. So yeah, because this is also uh, going to be a hardcore LP, when I die, I die. So I can't... I'm probably just going to record everything. So there will probably be moments of... Uh, base building and other sorts of uh, dicking around, so to speak. And obviously, I'm going to try to take this as carefully as possible. What the hell is that? Ooh, a slimy slime! Well, one of the first things I want to do is actually get rid of this stupid. No, oh. well, that works. I kind of want to get rid of this copper short sword. I don't. There's swords that like there's overhead chop, and then there's like the. Eh! Like, stupid, you know, poverty sword there. But for the meantime, I'm just going to hoard wood. Uh, 134 is decent. I think I'll get up to 200 just to, uh, let's get this beast. Oh, what? Oh, God, they must be having a Christmas event. Slimy Slime! This is absolutely pathetic. Now, there are, if I recall correctly, there are certain monsters that... If you don't aggro them by stabbing them, they'll just leave you alone. I think some of the slimes are like that, if I recall correctly. But, like I said, it's been a while. The, uh, the AI may have changed since then. And by the way, if anybody would like me to do a... Stabby, stabby. If anybody would like me to do just, like, the softcore playthrough, because I'm going to die. There's no way I'm going to... Uh, do everything there is to do in this game while I'm hardcore mode, especially since I haven't played in a while. But if you would like me to play the the regular modes just to kind of show off the game, I think there are a billion and a half YouTubers playing it, or have played it. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comment section I can do that. Now, if I remember right, they have to be... Hey, buddy. Let's stab you! I can't even kill a butterfly. That's that's pathetic. If I recall correctly, once you build these houses, they have to be a certain height by a certain width. I think it's 10 wide by 6 tall, if I recall correctly. Okay, okay for some reason the pickaxe breaks the logs. I, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine on that one. Ugh. Jump up there, epic beard man! Oh, let's see, how do I open my inventory? Inventory? I, do I not have an inventory? Give me a minute! It's one of these buttons. No, I don't want to throw that away. Well, screw it! Oh, it's a cute little pony. I'm gonna stab you! Okay, I, <laughs> I, I can most certainly murder a bunny, but I cannot murder a butterfly. Sakes, mints! Uh, one of the first things you want is the crafting bench, which you can uh, use to... It's basically like a portable Bradley. Bradley's just there to uh, get you started, so to speak. I really gotta figure out how to get rid of these windows. Like I said, it has been this long since I have played... Oh, okay. Escape will get rid of it. It has been so long since I gave this game even really any thought. Not that it's a bad game or anything. We just, uh, once we were introduced to it, we just absolutely played it to death. Okay, so escape will open up and close your inventory, apparently. And there are certain things you need to actually have a house be a legitimate house. Is, is that a present? Um, you need a light source, so torches work. Uh, these slime gels that you've noticed I have are well, from slime, so it's called gel, but... It's in said treasure chest. Ooh, candy cane block. How festive. On December 29th. It's too late. I've already taken my tree down. Humbug, I say! No, but uh, it needs uh, not only the width and height dimensions that I was talking about. It needs a light source. It needs at least one door. I'm going to put a door on both sides. And it needs enough wall in the background. If you hold in the right... Mouse button on this, it'll go a lot faster. 
Um, okay, so we need a gap of three. You can put the doors down. This will keep... I think it keeps all monsters out, if I recall correctly. There's, cert there's a certain night monster, which... I remember they bang on the door. I don't remember if they can actually get in to the door. And that looks like this. And I don't think I can kill that because you need a hammer to kill that. That is one thing I never really understood about that. Like, why do they... Why don't they start you off with a hammer? Um, I mean, they're fairly easy to craft, if I remember right. You're not helpful at all. Oh, that's right. That was, um, this... The little crafting window thing, if you click that, it just shows you everything... Until you get to, like, a certain point where there's, like, a billion things you can craft. It shows you largely what you can craft uh, with your current gaggle of items, which I have basically none of. But let us put down said torch. On both sides, why not? Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Um, and it also needs two more things. It needs a wooden table. Now, I think you can use your crafting table if you don't want to use another table. But... And I do want to make a... Oh, screw that. That's really going to bother OCD. I'm going to make a wooden sword. Oh, a heavy wooden sword. I don't want that. There we go. I, yeah, as you can see, it has... There's modifiers. Like, there's the regular wooden sword. I don't remember if it used to let you a craft with modifiers like that. So that's an interesting... Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's two more, and it's a little, it's a little slower, but I, it's also the, uh, the overhead attack, which I like, it still feels very slow. Hooray! Alright, now, one thing you can do if you hit escape, it opens this window again, you can click on housing. Housing query! This house is missing a table and chair. So, just plop that, and plop that. Can you... Get out of here. Now... Hooray! Housing is suitable! Now the NPCs will uh, automatically hop in that beast as they... Oh, that's the doorknob. <laughs> I'm trying to place a... Ooh. Nice shot there, Bradley! And the perfectly good half a tree. And as you notice, the NPCs will actually fight the monsters, and they can take damage as well from the monsters, which isn't really a big deal because I believe they respawn, uh, if they're killed, they respawn at the rate of one a day, if I recall correctly. Uh, like I said, it's been a little while. Does this have absolutely no stats? It's just, yeah, there it is. And, uh, let's see, okay, is this equipment? Okay, dies, okay. I do remember this, too. You have your die category, your social category, and your actual equipped category. Uh, the difference is your equipped is obviously what you're equipped with, so right now um, I get the stats of the wood greaves. Now, if I had uh, if I had some tight pants, I would be able to put them there, and it would cover up my... Not that you can see them under my... Uh, family toga there, but I do have the wood greaves on, but it would show the the hot, sexy tight pants. And so that's what that is, and dyes, which we can get later, will, well, just like it sounds, it'll dye your equipment, or whatever dye you happen to have found. So I don't know what the point of making the greaves is. Like, oh, there is a set bonus of, you get one defense for I don't, that's another thing I don't remember. I didn't remember there being set bonuses for everything. But maybe that has been in the world a while. Alright. So yeah, my guy looks far less manly than he ugh, used to. Well, I suppose it's far more manly if he's got the... The ep... Ooh. That a, ooh, God. Uh, this guy is actually... Got a lot of hit points. I don't know what he's doing here. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Let us juggle. No, I tried. I used to be cool. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, uh, uh. Keep up. 
Uh, there are a couple of ways to... Hello. There are a couple of ways to regenerate health. If you just stand around and do nothing, as long as you're not taking damage... Actually, you can be moving, but as long as you're not taking damage after a certain point... Uh, I'll, I should bump up to 85? There it is. And then, I, if I recall correctly, it starts to go fairly fast. Will you die? Hooray! And we get... Ooh, pink gel. That's another thing that's new to me. I didn't know there were different colored gels. Now, just like in Minecraft, eventually you're going to have to go down and start uh, mining for stuff. And I think I saw some uh, ore of some sort back this direction. And there are certain things like rocks and actually just, I think just going down you need the pickaxe can pretty much handle everything. But you can't harvest a block where like there's a tree. As you can see I'm not doing anything to that. It's pretty easy to figure out which items do what to which uh, thing in the ow, in, in the world by just clicking on it and you see it does nothing. Well, obviously that's the incorrect item. And also, just like Minecraft, this has a day and night feature, and once night comes out, um, you'll notice some new monsters coming around. I don't... I thought there was like a full screen map mode? I might have to mess with this a little bit off screen, because I really don't remember the map at all. I swear there... okay, wait. No? One of these? There we go. I think this is the one I'm looking for. It's like a full screen version. Uh, you can zoom this in, and it's not so good here because tin is like the stuff you start with. It's either copper or tin, if I recall correctly. Uh, the real only purpose to this would be to just sell it later for a little bit of money. And then, yeah, I mean, it's not like... If I were to die and lose my stuff, I mean, I, I guess that would be some use for it, but I think I'm just going to end up selling it. Uh, you see the coins here are the currency. There's uh, 100 coppers per silver, and then there are gold and platinums with the same conversion rate. Hey! Get out of here! Now, before I get to... What is that? I got a slime staff? Summons a baby slime to fight for you. Hooray! Now I have Bouncy Mon! Terrific. Uh, I do want to get... Oh my god. See, see how little that wood lasted there. I was going to say, I wanted to get up to at least three houses. Uh, more characters, or more NPCs are unlocked based on uh, certain objectives in the game. Like, there are... There's one for... Like... I think there's one for getting a certain distance down. Jesus, that scared me. Is he gonna kill him? Hey, he does more damage than me! That thing is awesome! But yeah, there's like... There's one for getting a little bit more health. There's one for... Um, getting down far in the world. There's some you can find uh, in the underworld. There are... There's, there's actually a ton of NPCs in this game. They did a pretty good job. So I need more door. I'm going to have to go farm some more wood off screen. And I'm not going to be able to get... Ugh! There we go. Uh, let's see. That. I need... Grab one of you? Alright. I guess I should have made a door. That would have made... Is that a Santa bunny? Oh, look at that. Wait, hold on. Look at the Santa bunny. He's so cute. I don't remember, also, if light made any difference. Like, it made the monsters spawn less. That. I hear the music change. That is to signify that night has started. So, yeah, apparently not a whole lot interesting this episode. I'm going to have to just massively make some wood with this very, very, very... It still gives you the copper axe. Aw, oh, the slime just murdered the button. Ooh. Zombie! Go to town, 
one slime mine. I don't remember ever having a slime staff in my other playthroughs of this game. I wonder if I just got really lucky and found a decent item right away. Probably not. Oh, that is... Ooh! Flying Beastie! Oh, oh god, I thought that arrow was something else. Bradley, you are not so useful on the, uh, the flying monsters there. Slime Man, however! Chop this down eventually? I would give him crap for not being able to chop down a tree quickly, but hey, if he can do it ten strokes with a copper axe, good for him. Well done, I see. Right? Hey! Alright! More presents? I wonder if that's going to benefit me at all. Um, presents. I don't remember what you can get. Uh, that's apparently just a decoration. Hello! Looking for a stabby? Stabby! Ugh. That's what? <laughs> that slime is just absurd. I love him. He's gonna make this a little bit easier to start off with. Are you gonna go inside, or are you just gonna putz around out here for a while? No, that's not what I wanted. I don't know if he can just walk in there. Oh, apparently he can. Ugh! Okay, that's gonna be very annoying. There we go. Should probably center this a bit. Uh, I just... Hooray! We are 80% more festive. Uh, one thing also I did remember, there was a campfire somewhere. Why am I doing that when I can just do this? Ooh, I can make a pink torch! How pretty! I'm sure there's something that can be made with slime gels and I've just ruined it. So that'll be somebody... Hey, that'll be somebody else's house. I'm not living with the... Ooh, he hit him. I'm not living with the pink lights. You are painful. Where did my sword go? Oh, it's on seven. What did I do? Drop it? Not too smart. That thing is just... Wicked. Man, look at him go to town. I don't even remember what I was doing. I'm blown away by his... Epic destruction. Alright, so I needed a couple more doors. I'll make three doors. I'll make three chairs. And... Uh, yeah, I'll just do... I'll make three more houses, and then... I will call that good. And unfortunately, I'm essentially out of... Wood for the eight millionth time. I'll try my best uh, in the nighttime zones to... Uh, or when it's nighttime, to keep the area fairly well lit. I know it's a little bit difficult to see, so it's probably even more difficult to see after I'm done with the recording and editing and all that stuff. So yeah, I'll do my best with that. No promises, but I don't like to waste them as much as I can do it. And if any time you get sick of fighting stuff, um, what the hell is that? Is that supposed to be an elf? I don't know what that is. But, uh... But yeah, if you get bored of fighting stuff, if you happen to not get lucky and find the slime thing there, uh, you can always just go back inside and shut the doors. Uh, just keep in mind that the zombies might be able to break the doors open. I don't recall, so just be careful... Oh god, it's raining. Uh, just be careful with that. I think... Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, dear. Finish it? Hooray! Alright, now we can... I'm just gonna go back to town, because I think I'm already well over 20 minutes at this point. Because you... You are just giving me all sorts of dosh. Easy dosh, Mitz. Easy dosh. Uh, nobody's gonna get that reference, but I'll make that reference. I'll just like that. I'll finish this up, and... We'll call this episode... I don't know. We'll call this episode... Good. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, just 
Just let the zombie... No problem at all. No problem. Just let the zombie right now. Alright, that'll be... Crap. Not my OCD. Don't let me finish that. But... Perfect! Alright, we'll pause it here, and maybe we'll actually get to go exploring next time on Let's Play Hardcore Terraria! This is Takamasa, and I'll see you later.